The TEG, otherwise known as the TEG, or thermoelectric generator, is the newest generator in Space Station 14. I haven't gotten time to get around to figuring it out and covering it, so I asked my friend, Chief Engineer, which is the name's fully uh, fitting here, to help me figure it out, and uh, by help me figure it out, I mean they figured it out. <laughs> and I'm basically going to copy their setup, but I will do a verbal explanation of it, so give them all the credit, I am just putting it in video form. This is Pack Station, which has arguably the hardest tag setup to follow. I know this looks extremely overwhelming, but I will put as much effort into explaining it as possible, and I will try to break it down in the segments. I'm going to tear apart this entire setup, and that might sound crazy, but using the distro is a actually easier to manage because it doesn't involve recycling. There's basically two ways a tag can be run as far as I'm aware. You can recycle gas through the default setups using the radiators that the map provides. So for example, in this room you can make a burn chamber and just have it so the heat recycles constantly through the burn. And for this one, you could just have cold air constantly be pumping into space and back to keep it consistently cold. However, using distro is a consistent method that doesn't require um, having to use the identical map layout. So by tearing this apart is the first real step. And I mean tear it apart. I'm going to take apart every single pipe and just redo it all by hand. And I will speed this up, because uh, this is going to take a bit. And that is it for this room, and you're going to want to take all the steel because you're going to need the steel to place new pipes. But before we do all that, Pact has a somewhat annoying obstacle, and that is this wall. We do not need this wall, so I'm going to go grab the fire axe, which is up here. And take it into two hands, and we are going to beat down this window. And this wall. Do not need this. And just to make things more visually appealing, we're going to get rid of this. And give ourselves some room here. And we're going to tear up the floor, just so we can see better. We are, either way, going to get rid of these two mixers and get rid of this one. We also don't need this pipe, and I need to get more fuel, which getting fuel isn't hard. You just find a fuel tank, or we just take the uh, better welder, which is definitely useful here. And just get rid of that, that, this, and this. You can technically get rid of the other pumps, but that doesn't matter right now. And simply, we're going to build a bunch of straight pipes, like so. This is effectively, just by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing, this is going to com uh, connect the O2 miner to this gas mix, and it is going to connect to the plasma mix, and we need this pipe going towards the tag. So we're just going to keep building straight pipes. I have run out of steel. There's plenty of steel in the Atmos room as well, but try to use the steel from the pipes themselves. It's a lot of steel. And we're going to keep going until we get Till the hole in the wall. Keep building these straight pipes. Pretty simple. Also, we're going to have to tear this floor up just so we can see. Get that out of here. You want a clean work environment in Atmos. And then we're going to make some pipe bends. And then some straights. You can also do the whole ghost first if you wish. Then a pipe bend. And then we're going to need some volumetric pumps. Volumetric pumps move loads of gas here and here specifically. Pretty simple. 
and then back to more straight pipes. Straight pipe in the tag, and then we're going to want some bends out of the tag. And this part isn't exactly super specific, but just to keep things simple, we're going to want a T-junction here. And the reason for that is, is we're going to be venting both the cool and the hot together out of the station. And we can easily do that by using this pipe that is under this wall. And we're going to just do one more straight and a bend. And now we need to well place all these pipes and finish them and the pumps. And I forgot a bend by accident. Oops. Ah, oh, shit. I'll do that last. So there's also a little bit of pipe layering going on here. But this is basically a follow the arrows type of game. It's really not that complicated yet. And actually, the setup is overall just really easy to replicate. We will have to go out there and fix this, but it's a very easy fix. But we're going to hook up the cold air, which is actually just going to be room temperature. And we're just simply going to use um, the water vapor because it has no other purpose, so it doesn't affect distro in any way. And that's obviously important. And this one's also easy. We just are going to build a straight and then bend it down through this LV. And you can pretty much copy this on any map. But again, uh, Pact is a little weird with their setup. Or maybe weird is not the right word. It's um just slightly more complicated. And then we bend one more time. And here we're just going to want a normal pump, gas pump, remember to make sure it's pointing the right direction, and then another bend. And just two more straights. And we're basically almost done. Oh, I have made one error. I have noticed, I forgot to include the heater, and... This is how I can prove I'm not just directly copying it. I was actually trying to set it up in my mind, and I'm like, hmm, this isn't going to get hot. <laughs> so we're just uh, going to put a T-junction like so, and that's it. That's the only other thing to fix, because you need a heater. You just need one heater for using distro setup, and that's why I recommend you use distro setup. or Not necessarily distro setup, sorry, gas miner setup, because temperature control is much easier. So we have barely used two stacks of steel, and we are almost done. But like I said, this map has free steel, enough to completely redo this. Uh, I'll just go get it real quick for y'all. Just come over here. There is two stacks sitting on this table, unpacked. Other maps like Bagel have like four stacks. And uh, if you ever need more, just go to Cargo. There we go. All the piping is done. So, we are going to now have to go get our Atmos suit. And we're going to keep the steel on us. And turn your air on. Light on. We're going to take this pipe out, but we have to wire cut the catwalk. And we're just going to replace this with one passive vent. Because we want to have fresh air moving in. That is more heat controlled. I must not be obstructed. Oh, sorry. Uh, do that. And now you can do it. Pass event is done. Let's just get the gas moving first. And then we can turn it all on. Take your suit off. So you're not slow as shit. Uh, so we're going to want to turn the oxygen on. And just max it out. Turn it on. The oxygen will go up here. Typically you'd have distro on. But... Remember, most of distro is nitrogen, so you're not really, like, hurting the station very much by, um, doing this. So, we could just turn this into a bend, just so it's completely focused on 
oxygen. Uh, now that this is connected, you can see the oxygen will bend around here. You could have just used a gas mixer, but this makes it even more, it's easier to visualize. It bends down to here, and now we're at the plasma. Just turn this on. And this, the mixture I, that is recommended, or at least just easy to follow, just do 66%. And max this out. Remember, we want pressure, pressure, pressure. Set. Turn it on. Turn the plasma on. Oxygen is on. And let me get a gas analyzer. Not a very good Atmos tech with that one. And as you can see, there is the mixture going through. And good mixture. Exactly how we want it. And we need to bring a heater over. And with more than one person and getting used to doing this, you'll be able to do this very quickly. Uh, just max it out. I just type in like a billion. It maxes out 593 Kelvin. Turn it on. And then you're going to want... Pop pump doesn't really matter for pressure. But for this, you want it to be lower because you want it to get hot. So just do 100. Totally fine. Turn it on. Instantly... You can start seeing some plasma being vented, and the hot part of the tag is moving. The cool part is extraordinarily easy. If you remember, we just have to turn this on, max it out. Now there is going to be water vapor moving through here. You can watch it in real time. And we just go down to here. Max this out. Turn it on. But as long as there is a temperature difference in these pipes, the tag will produce energy. And we're going to actually turn this pump off for a second. Uh, we want it to get hotter. Okay, so I paused the recording. It is now extraordinarily hot. We have made plasma fire inside. As you can see, the carbon dioxide building temperatures will reach an insane amount. So now we're just going to turn the bottom pump back on. You delete all the generators because the tag only produces as much power as a station actually needs and once you are at this top this much of a temperature turn off the heater and as you can see the temperature inside is just absolutely insane and we're slowly building power as it stabilizes it uh, fluctuated quite a bit temperatures are equalizing but the power will keep going up and since we are using uh, miners, we won't have to worry about power for very long. Uh, this will basically last forever as long as somebody doesn't sabotage it. And remember, uh, it only produces as much power as the station can actually hold. So once everything's charged, you'll see it go back down. But this is already enough to power an entire station, and it has capped. And it, it will fluctuate a little bit, but don't worry too much about it. Once it's started, um, it seems like it will stay stable. At least from everything I was told by a uh, chief engineer and everything I know about my own Atmos knowledge. I'm not trying to make myself sound completely unknowledgeable. I do have 600 hours in Atmos. Probably more than that, but I haven't played it in a bit, so I'm a little rusty. But again, thanks CE for the setup. Um, hopefully I explained it in a way that makes sense. I know this over... Ha oh, I mean, well over half the video is literally just placing pipes. But the concept here is pretty simple. So, like, if I just put down a power sink really quickly. Notice how the usage is going back up now. And just to be extra thorough and show you that this does indeed work. The SMESs are full. The power sink is drawing... Almost a megawatt, it is getting there. And that is all from the tag. So, I'm sure this will please some of you, but if the tag is active, your power sink will generate a lot of uh, power quickly. And yeah, we're well over a megawatt. I'm going to just place another one for fun. Let's just place five. See how much this is actually producing in power. But yeah, this produces a ton of power. It almost rivals the singularity. But uh, the danger of this being sabotaged is just that you'll lose power. That's the worst that will happen. Uh, 1.5 megawatts. Uh, that might be around as good as it gets. So it's not insanely powerful. You can't make the power sink garden. But the power does fluctuate because temperatures are equalizing and unequalizing. Uh, I'm no fucking physicist. 
I don't quite understand all the insane math behind the gases, but I can tell you this. This runs the station pretty good. Uh, the power good. Lights are good. The SMES are happy. Uh, that's all I got. Thank you.